Hey guys, Sasha for netbooknews.com and uh, it's been a while since I've unboxed my last netbook. I think it was the EPC 1015BX with the uh, AMD Fusion APU that we unboxed um, I think back in September last year. And as you can see I still have a couple of netbooks around, that's not all, I'll tell you that for sure. But it seems like more people are going for hybrids in these days, uh, like the ASUS EPET Transformer Prime here. So this is basically the second generation of the hybrid uh, and I obviously have a hard time to open it. <laughs> and over here we have the very first EPET uh, transformer that came out uh, last summer. I tell you one thing for sure, each and every netbook that ASUS is delivering to the market is outselling all their tablets. But anyways, uh, that was just a little side statement uh, regarding the netbook market. It's time for a new unboxing and today I got my very first Intel Atom Cedar Trail netbook. Um, that's the Acer Aspire One D270 and it's running on the Intel Atom N2600 which is a 1. Point, I think it was a 1.6 gigahertz um, dual core uh, processor and yeah I got the limited edition by the way because of this fancy lid over here and uh, it also has a kind of special design on the track but we're gonna take a look at it right now what about the pricing it was about 10,000 NTs that's around uh, 330 US dollars or 275 euros or 250 euros and I think that's really cheap for what you get. So let's start the unboxing and let's dive right into it. Uh, I just got it over here in Taipei at the Guangha Digital Plaza. Oh, by the way, there you can see this fancy trackpad. And uh, let's see what's in this box. We have a little quick manual here. Okay, looks good. And here we go. Seems like netbook manufacturers are really taking care of their customers. So they are always providing a little sleeve. I would love to see this uh, with tablets. And as we know, tablets are a little bit more expensive than that book. So we have a the standard Acer PSU, and I'm sure that we have a dozen of these right now. And over here, that's the connector for the Taiwanese and uh, the US power outlet. And last but not least, here's the netbook. And we have a couple of uh, manuals here and, you know, all the stuff that I can't read because it's in Chinese. Uh, let's get rid of this box. And let's also get rid of these fellas over here. So we can absolutely focus on our new Acer Aspire 1 D270. There it is. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. Here we go. As you immediately can see, our, yeah, it has this fancy balloon design. It's all white. Let's take a quick look around it. Um, so we have a power connector here. That's the Ethernet connector, a VGA out, and look at this. HDMI out. Welcome to the 21st century Intel Atom netbooks. A USB 2.0, there's nothing on the front. Uh, we have a, a 4-in-1 card reader, jack for the headset and microphone, and two more USB 2.0, and of course a Kensington key lock. And on the back, I immediately noticed that this is going to be a pain in the ass to open. Well, we have some screws here but I'm still not sure how easy it is to get down to the motherboard if you want to upgrade it uh, with some RAM because it already comes with one gigabyte DDR3 RAM and I'm sure it should support at least two gigabytes DDR3 RAM. Not sure, I'm not sure about the chipset right now if it will also support four gigabytes but you know what, I'm gonna leave a comment uh, on the video right now. And of course uh, we have a lithium ion battery and this is a 6 cell one, which is uh, not getting out of here. Okay, I love to do this on camera, I tell you that. Um, okay, here we go. So, this is a 48, 
is it 48 or actually it's 49 watt hour battery in my opinion that's a little bit disappointing um, the more power the Intel Atom platform was saving the smaller the batteries uh, became and I remember that I still have a Samsung NC10 here with a 63 watt hour battery so imagining a 63 watt hour battery on a CD tray platform this would easily provide you like 15 hours of battery life but I shouldn't complain too much because if we just uh, look at this uh, Acer Aspire one that was a D255 um, running on uh, Android or that it was a dual boot Android uh, Windows XP Home Edition and it came with a three cell battery and guess what the price was 9900 and that was only a year ago so for the same price point you're now getting um, a device with a three cell uh, with a six cell battery this was a three cell was 24 watt hours and uh, with Windows 7 starter and with a new Intel Atom with a 320 gigabyte hard disk and whatnot so uh, let's open it finally okay we need to zoom out again here we go and you immediately notice this is a glossy 10.1 inch display something that I absolutely hate I hate glossy displays and they are already horrible on tablets um, but they are also horrible on netbooks of course uh, here it says here balloon carnival special edition uh, maybe I want to keep this little a sticker over there and we see this uh, kind of wouldn't say famous but this is uh, the Acer version of a chiclet keyboard let's move in here a little bit it's pretty the keys are pretty big and responsive and you know if I'm really putting some pressure on it you can see it's bending a little bit but it's easy to write on it. I really like the, the feeling of this Shaklet keyboard, even though that I would still prefer the one that Asus is using. Let me show you. Here we go. That's the one from the 1015BX. So that's, that's quite a difference. I think it's easier to type on this one, but still, right? I shouldn't complain about this. It's a good netbook keyboard. Um, the trackpad, here we go. Looks fancy. It's a single mouse button. Um, responsive to uh, what about resolution of the display 1024 by 600 as always one gigabyte of RAM 320 gigabyte hard disk drive and um, by the way this is a multi trackpad at least what, that's what Acer is saying and what also what they're also claiming is uh, it's an ultra thin design so you can see by the way this is 1.1 kilograms but uh, talking about ultra thin design, is it thinner than this Acer Aspire 1D255, which is about a year old and was super cheap? Uh, I don't think so. So I'm questioning this marketing bus term ultra in the new Cedar Trail netbook, and especially if we compare this to an Asus EPA Transformer Prime. Uh, well, talking about ultra thin again, right? This little fellow is a quad core over here. But anyways, uh, let's fire it up. Oh, a nice little limited edition sticker just went off. And uh, let's have a quick boot. Oops, the other way around. A quick boot so we can see how fast it's booting up. You know, the good thing about Taiwanese stores is they are doing an unboxing for you in the store just to make sure that everything is working and that you're happy with your device and whatnot. I just love it and I think we should uh, film this in the future. Here we go. So I would guess this takes about 30 to 40 seconds. Oh, that's me. Yeah, you now you can see this glossy mirror here. Almost there. Almost. We can do it. Come on. Here we go. Well, Windows 7 Starter Edition, that's the most limited version of Windows 7. But still, I think uh, for this price, 
$330 and I tell you one thing I'm very confident that the mainstream netbook will go for below 300 US dollars. We will have a sweet spot in between 250 and 300 US dollars for future netbooks from premium brands like Acer, Asus, Samsung, you, know, you name them. Ah, welcome to the world of bloatware. It's packed with McAfee, Netflix, eBay, Acer games, and it's just, uh, yeah. I don't want to see this. Hey, by the way, McAfee, you can't activate this product when I'm not connected to the internet. So, why? I just, uh, uh, I hate it to have these things in the auto start. But anyways, um, what we're going to do, of course, you will see some detailed benchmarks on the Intel Atom Cedar Trail platform. Um, this is just the first unboxing and impression of the new Acer Spy One D270 Limited Edition because of this fancy design, you know, I can't stop pointing at it. Um, goes for about $300 to $330 over here in Taiwan and should be available at an Acer retailer uh, at your, well, in North America and in Europe by next week or already starting this week. I'm Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Thank you so much for watching, guys.